So where are you? I thought you were going to do these videos and you were done with your whatever it is you were going through and you are back to doing the videos. It's a good question. But I got a good answer. Here's your story, let's begin. The water's fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before your eyes. Okay, so yeah, I did take a break from the videos, but I did tell you I was going to be doing a little bit of traveling. Now here's the thing, I actually thought I was going to be able to go out during the day, take a bunch of video clips and that sort of thing, and at night go back to the hotel room and process the video, uh, put it together, edit it, and upload it. Well, plans change. This is Ecuador and you have to be flexible. Stupid me, I should know better that when you go to these small towns, internet, ah, <laughs> um, it's not really going to work out that way. And so, and I had to change up some plans for some other reasons. A couple things fell through, so I had to be shorter, uh, so I didn't have as many overnight stays, so I had some battery charging issues, and da 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 da. I wanted to go to Six Sig, and I couldn't make it this time around. So I went to Paute, I went to Guadalajara, and I went to Charter Lake. And I've got hundreds hundreds of clips. I've got a really good interview with uh, an American Ecuadorian couple who opened a bar and restaurant. Um, I've got some really good stuff, but it's hundreds. It's massive. And so it's going to take some time for me to work through it. I believe I'll probably end up doing one video for each town. And from my point of view and my taste, one town was a clear winner, a clear winner. And uh, to somebody else's taste, that might be very different. But one town felt really like home. And the others just felt like towns, very nice towns. I don't wanna, you know, it might be your cup of tea, but I have my particular taste. So I had a good time. Um, I, I had Maria, who is a friend of mine, who is also now working as a facilitator, guide, helper, whatever. I'm not sure what you exactly call that. Uh, she's doing things uh, that she did a lot for me, helped me with visa issues and uh, negotiating and finding property and all kinds of stuff. And so she's out there doing that, but I was able to grab her for the week and uh, get her to go with me. When I go to strange towns, because my Spanish is, is so pathetic and it's, it's useful to have a little inside information. Um, so I asked her to go along and she did and, and Maria, thank you so much. As always, it was a huge help and, uh, and a lot of good insight in the town. She had been to these towns and she had certain things to say about them that was very helpful. Uh, so I look forward to getting these done and posted up over this next week. There's a lot of work to do because these are clips and I've got to do all the things you have to do with these. I, I really set myself up for a ton of work. And uh, I'll do that and I think I'll throw a little montage here at the end of this. Now in the meantime, uh, while I'm doing these editings and there's going to be more gaps in, in videos as a result. If you have any questions, like, like I get from time to time, if you have any, and please, not about finding a girlfriend, but if you have any questions that, that you have uh, burning in your brain and you want to get uh, answered for you, uh, shoot the message off to me. Um, you can just message me right through YouTube and um, I'll see if I can, if I don't know enough. I do a lot of research actually when I do these videos. So it's not just my impression, my point of view, but I try to back up to make sure that, okay, my point of view represents 5% of what is the reality. So I try to flesh that out. 
So if you shoot me off a question, I'll uh, see if it's within, within the scope of what I know, do a little research to uh, fill that in, and those I can get up pretty quick for you. Um, I'm so bad at this though, I do have to admit, I'm so bad at this, I can't sit down and just say everything and have it come out. I have huge pauses, the dogs be barking so loud that I can't hear anything, or I forget what I was, what the points I wanted to make, and so there's cut, 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 cut. Um, but that's okay, that's just part of it. I try to cut out as much of the really boring stuff and just leave you the boring stuff. So, uh, thank you for being patient. I think you're gonna have a really good picture of towns people don't talk about too much and um, you don't really see anything on YouTube about, but are part of the makeup of Ecuador and what makes it interesting. Cuenca is a great place and I love to go to Cuenca. It's a fun place. There's everything, I mean, there's, it's a happening city. But it's limited in its scope, and I won't go into detail on that, but if you really want to see a country, you need to get out beyond the, the bubble that is really there for tourists and the gringos coming in, and uh, it's not to say that it's not true and authentic, but there's more than that. As a matter of fact, every city you go to has its own makeup. I don't know, any of you that are old enough to remember the 40s, 50s, 60s, and you did those car trips, particularly in the 50s and 60s, across the country of the United States, and you would go from town to town to town, and every town had its own personality. Every town had its certain kind of food specialty or festival specialty, and you would have interesting buildings that look like igloos or teepees or dinosaurs and things like that. And just driving across country, one of the reasons it was so popular then is everything was unique. Now today, it's all homogeneous. It's all everywhere you go, you're going to find a Lowe's and a McDonald's and a, you know what I mean. It's just, I'm going to dinner, where am I going to? Well, it's either Outback or Red Lobster. It's not what it once was. Now, some of those things still exist, but you have to hunt for them. That's why Route 66 was such a big thing. It was just full of flavor. Well, guess what? When you come to Ecuador, you can find that. When you go to Loja, it has a different history. It has a history of embracing the Spanish. When in, in Cuenca and Quito, it was more adversarial. Well, over the hundreds of years, that brought up a different kind of culture. Not better, not worse, but different. And you go there and you can see that, you can feel it. And when you go to Cuenca, you see uh, its unique culture. And if you go to Guayaquil, you see this booming international city that it, you know, it's the city that never sleeps for Ecuador, and you, so you get all that. But the small towns are the fascinating towns. Saraguro, where the, uh, the Incas that were the bodyguards for the king who was kidnapped, ransomed, and killed, ended up settling there. And so the story goes, uh, they, the reason they all wear black in that town was for the blackness in their heart, uh, metaphorically speaking, uh, for the failure to protect the king, to, to let that happen, ultimately the demise of the, the Incan Empire. And so you see the dress and the demeanor and you see hairstyle and hats and everything completely different and unique unto itself. And when you go to Palte, there's differences. And when you go to Chortale, it's extremely different. And so, if you want to have the adventure of Ecuador, you have to get out and visit these small towns. Um, even if it's a drive through and, you know, have a lunch or something. The differences 
are what make Ecuador such a rich, thriving country. So, I hope these videos that will be coming up will express that, give you a little, a peak your interest, maybe even a place for your new home if you're coming. Everyone doesn't have to move to Cuenca. And again, Cuenca is a beautiful place, and I made a point to be sure that I'm within a short bus trip to Cuenca because there's things in Cuenca that you want, you need, and it makes life wonderful that are not in the small towns. And if you didn't have access to that, uh, you wouldn't have such a good life, as good a life. But having both is really special. It's really a treat. And, and last, don't forget, if you have questions, shoot them off to me so I can get those quick videos done in between while I'm doing all this editing on these hundreds and hundreds of clips. I believe there's about 600 clips. That's all I have to say for now. And of course, please subscribe and like and all of those things that people say on YouTube. I suppose you're supposed to say that. So uh, thank you for being patient and I hope the trip we're gonna go on will pay off. Thank you. Could be larger than life, bigger than the world Living out the hopes and dreams of every boy and every girl You could fly higher than the sky, shine brighter than the stars You could have all you ever wanted, shoot the moon and reach for Mars You know you could Yeah, and times are changing Could be larger than life, bigger than the world Living out the hopes and dreams of every boy and every girl You could fly higher than the sky, shine brighter than the stars You could have all you ever wanted, shoot the moon and reach for Mars You know you do larger, larger than, bigger, bigger than Could be larger than life, bigger than the world Living out the hopes and dreams of every boy and every girl You could fly higher than the sky, shine brighter than the stars You can have all you ever wanted yeah. You know you could